All right, good morning, Thursday morning, week one, my 12 week cycle. Yesterday, Friday, or yesterday, Wednesday, I took the day off of doing the X3 and I did one of my functional fitness things. And what I actually did was I have a backpack here with 40 pounds of sand in it. And I have not done a uh, hump, <laughs> as we call it in the Marine Corps, in uh, several, 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 lots of years. So I decided yesterday in the rain, it's raining out, um, threw my rain jacket on, threw the backpack over, and I went out for like a two mile hump. Man, I can tell you, I could feel that within the first two, 300 yards. My shoulders were just starting to ache. And I just did that, I said I humped, I humped around the neighborhood uh, about two miles, briskly, got a sweat going, had my sweats on, and by the time I got back here, I could feel my shoulders were really working, I had a nice sweat going, and throughout the rest of the day, I could feel my body just really feeling that exercise. Um, what made me think about that was, over the holidays, um, we were out looking at uh, Christmas lights, and my oldest daughter decided to jump onto my back and you know, give her a little piggyback ride. Well, I was quite amazed at the amount of, how, obviously, how it felt just to have something on your back and able, able to walk. I can do my squats, I can do my split squats, and those are strong, but to actually pick something up and actually carry it, you can feel it throughout your body. And it didn't feel good. It actually felt not as strong as I thought I was. So I decided I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna start doing the humps after I get done with the workout, maybe get my stride feeling better, get my shoulders feeling strong, get my core feeling strong, get my whole body feeling stronger. The X3 is awesome as far as building muscle, but as far as overall body strength, you have to do something that actually taxes your whole system at one time. Throwing that backpack on my shoulders and going for a hump afterwards is gonna do that. And I actually feel really good today. I feel stoked um, from yesterday's hump and I can't wait to go do it again. It is raining out again, so we're probably gonna do the same thing in the rain. Um, I have other things planned also with kettlebells and whatever else, but right now we're going with the, with the backpack 40 pounds of sand on the shoulders for a couple mile hump until we actually start feeling better with that and then we'll do some other stuff when it's not raining out. It's something simple to do in the rain. So today, we're gonna start off with our crosses. We're gonna do 15 crosses, get the chest warm, immediately go to chest press and just nail that. Burn it out till you can't do it no more. Take a small break, overhead press, until we can't do it no more. Triceps, till we can't do it no more. Calf, till we can't do it no more. Grab the backpack, get suited up, go for a hump. Let's see. Another thing, when I stepped on the scale and it lied to me on Monday and it eventually told me the truth, I was 233. And since then, I have only been eating strict carnivore. I've had water, I've had carnivore. So for dinner last night, I had two hamburger patties with cheese, with four eggs, and bacon crumbles all over them. And they were delicious. I gobbled that all up. That's all I had. I was at a 22 hour um, fast by that point, intermittent fast. I've done intermittent fasting all the way up until I mean, every day. And I've only eaten a carnivore diet. The day before I had a big ribeye and uh, um, pork rinds that I was munching on while I was making my, my ribeye. And I had a couple eggs with that. So all I've had is carnivore. I'm, I'm starting to really get to that. I'm getting to the point where I want to get rid of those cravings after I eat the sweet cravings and the want to sit down and snack cravings. And if I'm going to snack, I do have some beef jerky that I can snack on. And I made some fat bombs uh, with some butter and uh, cream cheese that I can snack on as far as after that goes. So really trying to cut that down, trying to just concentrate on just that one big meal of just basically protein of carnivore and go from there. But today when I stepped on the scale, it said 228. So that's a good good little drop there in a couple days. Hopefully by the end of the week, it'll be down a little bit more. And each week I can continue dropping more and more while I'm doing these strenuous exercises and just sticking with the carnivore diet, getting myself enough proteins and fats. That said, let's get the exercises going. All right. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? 
I'm gonna turn my music on. Got my earphones on, I need to turn my music on. All right, got the music on. Let's get started. with a good pre-exhaustion. Felt good, felt strong. It's tough. That's right. Getting into that zone where you just have that chest contracted so hard and just staying in that and just using that chest to push as hard as you can and feel that pain. Whew. Heart rate going crazy. Sweat rolling down the back. And it's not even 7 o'clock in the morning yet. Whew. All right. Take a break. So I catch my breath. Overhead press. All right, that's about, I don't know, a minute and a half, two minute break. 
Just walk around a little bit, cut my breath. It's gonna be interesting to see how this goes with my shoulders after carrying that backpack yesterday. And I could really feel my shoulders draining as I was carrying that backpack. So be interested to see how this feels. Light gray band, short bar. And we'll just see if we can get. Ah, felt good in the start. Once that shoulder fatigue set in, whew, I could really feel it. I barely got 15 standing up and then finish off whatever I did with my knees. But although you're not using your delts when you're carrying the backpack, your traps also help out. I know things just are like on fire. Everything's on fire. I like it. Making the system work. Whew, all right. A little break, I'm gonna do some triceps. All right, next up, tricep press. It's funny, I've seen all these people on Facebook and other stuff trying to figure out some way how to keep the straps together. And I know Dr. J says, don't put anything under to keep them together because when you do, they loosen up and they, that's not the system, but I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is when I put them across my back, they tend to slide a little bit. So I found the easiest way for me to do that. I just take a black rubber band and I just bind them together. I don't have a problem with coming back too far and having the slack in there. I know not to do that. After 75 weeks, I know not to do that. But when I put the straps across there, sometimes one side will slide down a little bit. I don't like that feeling of that in, that balance is just not right. So, so I put a little black band on there and it holds it together. Especially when I use the yellow band. The yellow band tends to slide when you put it around your back a little bit. So. All right. Just get it tight. And it doesn't slide. They're even on both sides. A little band in the back. I'm not gonna have a problem with having too much slack.
Use every bit of strength you could to get the last one. And very surprising how much that that hump, that hike yesterday with the backpack took energy out of my system and actually taxed my whole body. Just carrying that 40 pounds on your shoulders. And I can't wait to go do that again. I can't wait to get stronger to where I'm actually doing more than 40 pounds. Doing that, the whole, the whole body, I can feel the whole body working. As the day went about yesterday, I could feel my lats, my core, everything had been taxed from just that hump around the neighborhood. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, last thing, calves. And since I staggered this foot forward and this foot back, I'm gonna switch it up today. I'm gonna do left foot forward, right foot back. They're only about three or four inches difference in how I stagger them. But it's just enough to help me keep my balance and really get on with the push. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I got 30 with that. I'm really trying to hold at the peak, digging the toes into the plate as much as you can, just keeping those toes dug in as much as you can. Whew. What I also find myself doing during the day when I'm out and about or doing whatever, I just, in my shoes, I just stand up on my, on my toes and I'll just stand there as long as I can. I just come up on my toes and just stand there. Whether I'm in a supermarket, whether I'm out with the wife doing something or around the house doing something, I'll just stop and pause and raise up on my toes and just stand there for as long as I can. Just make those calves work. All right. That's it for this morning's X3 workout. Whew, got a little sweat going. Got it done. <sighs> Amazing how much that, that hike yesterday took out of my system, but it feels great. I don't have to do 40 reps. I'm not chasing reps here. I'm chasing the exhausted state of my muscles. So if I can exhaust them in less reps, same amount of time, same amount of stress, then I'm not done doing what I want to do. At some point I'll switch back and maybe go for reps, maybe go for bands. But right now, this is what I want to do. I just want to maintain that 15 to 20 rep range, totally exhausted the whole way. And then go afterwards and do some functional training, whether it's the backpack for the foreseeable future until it stops being so damn cold and raining. 
And then I got some kettlebells and some other stuff. I can go out and do some, some groundwork and kettlebell swings and other stuff. But right now it's just a backpack. So we're going to go out we're going to do a hike with the backpack and uh, come back home and get on with the day. So I got this part done. Now I'm going to go do the other part. Go live your life and we'll see you on the next uh, while we're hiking. All right, we're all suited up and we're heading out. The rain has stopped for now. We're check the weather and we're in between downpours. We got a couple hour break before we get more rain. But uh, I got the backpack on, strapped up nice and tight. And uh, we're just gonna go for a, another power walk like we did yesterday. The nice pace, feel the shifting of the weight between each leg as you're walking. That's one of the things that uh, when my daughter jumped on my back when we were out uh, doing the Christmas lights, it just felt strange having the weight on my back and my hips and walking from leg to leg. It didn't feel as strong as it used to when I was younger. Of course, I was in my late teens and early 20s when I was out humping in the Marine Corps. And uh, we had, you know, 70, 90 pounds on our back back then. Of course, we did a lot of uh, road training and running and stuff, which I haven't done for many years, but I have done a lot of functional fitness and keep my strength up. So it just didn't feel good having that amount of weight on my back and being able to uh, not walk without going like, oh, this doesn't feel good. So that's why I'm doing this. This taxes your whole body. It makes your whole body work. My shoulders are already on fire from obviously doing the overhead press and uh, doing this yesterday. Uh, but I'm going to continue doing it and uh, build up my endurance. And then we'll, uh, you know, we'll add some kettlebells, add some other things in there, carry some kettlebells for a while, do some swings, carry some kettlebells for a while, do some swings. Just some more functional fitness that I want to uh, start incorporating into my, pro my routine. I'm trying to get up at uh, five o'clock in the morning and get, out, get done early, get done with the X3 before six so I can get out here between seven and eight. And I know it's two hours, but then again, I am retired and not like I have a lot of things to do, which I do have a lot of things to do, but this makes it more easier for me to, to get it done while the wife is sleeping before she gets up because then my, my day is usually dedicated to making sure that she has what she needs. So getting up earlier so I can get a good <coughs> two hours. Of course, there's waking up time, you know, and there's a sitting down after you work out and drinking some coffee and letting your body relax time. So. It isn't full two hours of working out. It's just a, a window that I want to try and get the, the program done between, you know, 5.30 and 6 for the X3 and then 6.30 to 7 to try and get this functional fitness that I want to start doing. There's some of these uh, things out here at the park. Maybe I can start coming over and do pull-ups and dips and whatever. These things are not very good as far as I'm concerned, but at least it's something... That when it's not flooded and raining i can utilize and that little park right here is kind of nice sidewalks are nice do some kettlebell walks do some bear crawls do some functional fitness stuff like that which i want to start incorporating with the x3 program which is wonderful for strength and fat burning um but i want to just really tax my system a little bit extra uh, just because you know i like doing that i like challenging myself I like making my body work and then I can feel my body for the rest of the day as it uh, is complaining about working too hard and that's what I like so we're gonna finish this hump here and get home and take care of the uh, little woman you guys have a good day and we'll see you back here tomorrow for a pull day and uh, we'll see what we're, if we're gonna do the backpack or something different depends on what the rain situation is tomorrow get it done go live your life we'll see you back here tomorrow